we missed our flight. So now we're stuck in Toronto, not lifting with JF until tomorrow because there's really nothing out here to lift. I'm so out of it, you guys. Anyways, our flight to, is at 10 p.m. tonight, so we had a whole day of uh, exploring this. I got him. I found one breakfast place. Got him eight eggs with spinach, olives, um, a Greek omelet with potatoes, two crepes. How you feeling? <laughs> I need some beer to struggle so bad. Look at me. I'm not meant to look like this. doesn't know that there's a gap between the shower and laundry room so when he showers I'm about to um put the snow over the wall it's gonna freak him out Sean did this to me too camera up camera to uh, lift the JF Corral and meet his cow. Um, I finally ate breakfast, <laughs> it's like one o'clock. Anyways, I'm ready, let's freaking go. It's a beautiful snowy day. Everything is closed. There's hardly anybody out here right now because of COVID. Uh, all, yeah, there's no grocery stores open whatsoever. Like, yeah, I figured this is just Sunday. Yeah, I guess on Sunday they close everything now. Yeah. Um, and we're off to, through this snowy, just snowed, this slushy, snowy weather in a two-wheel drive Honda. <laughs> Front wheel. Let's hope we make it. <laughs> Romark, Sean, and I traveled to Quebec, Canada to train with JF Caron, nine times Canada's strongest man, multiple time world's strongest man finalist, multiple Guinness record holder, including a world record tire flip, and just all around powerhouse, capable of deadlifting 463 kilograms or 1,018 pounds. JF has been a mentor and inspiration in my strength journey. We are excited to be here to witness his lifestyle and rhythm in preparing for the heaviest contest in the world, the Arnold's Classic. Enjoy this episode and kick off to Strength Unknown. What is this? This is so cool. 
Wow. 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 Here's a Tesla. Hey, here's a Tesla. Holy here's a shit. Tesla. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, where are you? Is this where we need to start, man? Looks like it, boys. We're here. <laughs> oh. Let's throw some stuff around. Let's do it. Let's take a nap. Yep. This is JS place, man. Shoes off, Jay. Hi. Nature stone, atlas stone, sandbag. Yeah, atlas stone. Inside. Okay. I think we can train with 310 today. So yeah. is it 21 inches? Nice. I think sandbag is better yeah. for uh, your shoulder. If you're interested. I have. You can try. No because because I have to learn some technique from you. Yeah, no, there's a trick. You go under and spit. Like this. Yeah. This is what Mateusz does. Yeah. I watch his videos over and over. He's coming over to train with us. Leon twins. The, tw the, the Leon twins? Yeah, the two brothers. Yeah. They are twins. Exactly the same. Gabriel is Canada's strongest man winner. Okay. Frederick finished in sixth place this year. They trained in my gym since nine years. Wow. They started at wow. 15 years old. They got <laughs> with mom nine, nine years ago. And she wow. said, oh my. My son wants to become a strongman. Wow. That's so great. Yeah, yeah, the genetic is big guy. Yeah, big guy. Oh, this is great. If one gets injured, they can yeah, like simply just, like, switch. switch it like, yeah. Hey, you're better stoned. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> they, switch, they switch per event. Uh, your deal is better. One of them by... trains for half the events. Yeah. The other one trains for the other half. Oh, they could totally do that. Dude, that would be so funny. Welcome to my home gym. This container is also full of equipment. It's the setup for the throwing today. And the 40 feet container is a lot of uh, strongman equipment. Here, watch out, it's slippery. Uh, where is your cow? The cow on the other side. And I will show you. Yeah, this is great. Oh, cow is there? <laughs> uh, we find this cow uh, this summer. It was very a lot smaller than now. You know, she was around three months old, years old. Maximum, she was lost in woods here. And uh, I asked to some farmers around if it's the. If it's their property, if they say no, then uh, we keep it with us. And now uh, she's a member of family. What's it, what's it, it's, it is not meat. Secret Canadian machine. Real wheelbarrow. <laughs> I have two plates. Each place 300 pounds. This one. <laughs> Each place 300 pounds? Yeah, yeah. Those one I have two. My father built for me like... 15 years ago, and it's still working. For training, oh, the, oh, fuck, training yeah. the grip, I think is the best implement. Wow. But it's a typical Quebec event. In yeah. Bast, in the, the village, you have competition of wheelbarrow. Just this event. Yeah, for max weight. 20 feet, one drop allowed, <coughs> and you, less man standing. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start off with yoke to warm up for frame and then throwing to warm up for a stone or sandbag with the shoulder. strongman travels halfway across the world to compete with the competitor. We do. How does a yoke warm up for the frame? Hips. Hips. Hips warm up. Wow. I like it. Not big weight. And I do yoke almost each training because in past it was bad enough for me. <coughs> then I want to improve. Then I yeah. Do it. I, mean, I, I like, like for warm up yoke like this yeah. or tire flip. Oh, I'm going to tire flip. Yeah, okay. Because the grip is not so good. The has a world record in tire flip right now, guys. But Mar Marquis was the first one to flip it unofficially. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I remember 2000, 
16 March Arnold Classic. They invite me to make a world record on tire flip, and the tire was not there until like 10 minutes we start. Oh, we and could. Martins was like some. It's the first time I met him. Yeah, he's never competed in international almost at this, at this time. I don't know him. And he said to me, the tire arrived here. Oh, that is a fuck. It's, it's too big. It's not possible to flip. But yeah, I want to try. Okay, let's go and flip the tire. <laughs> Okay, then I know it's possible, and I go on stage and I do <laughs> four, four reps. But the first man to flip is Martin Litches. Yeah. And he said, Oh, I'm Martin Litches. We will compete together in the World's Strongest Man for first time, 2016, yeah. right after this contest. And you make the final. First <laughs> I see. Oh, shit, we have a, we are in trouble. <laughs> JF helps me a lot. I uh, I went to compete in Warwick before Worlds, I think. Before, yeah, yeah. And he gave me many tips, <coughs> many tips on how to approach medleys, on how to uh, train better, to get ready for the medleys in the World Strongest Man. The, big, the barrel guys you see in 2016, 2017 strongman. The barrel. JF taught Martins that too. Oh to yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, my first medley, my first event in the world, I uh, did okay because JF showed me how to do it. <laughs> so I would not have done so you won that year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you beat me like by 20 seconds. <laughs> but I, I don't need to run in my group, you know, because nobody finished. Uh, yeah. yeah. I walked with the barrel, but Martin is just flying. 40 seconds, I remember Shit. it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Strongman is a fun, friendly community. What's the weight now for? 390. Oh, handles are cold. Huh? The handles are cold. <laughs> Fuck, it's YJF. Holy shit. Oh, God. oh no, what's happening? <laughs> uh, you know, in the past, we compete a lot of piping over. Yes, yeah. because oh, you have no money on the table. Yeah, yeah nobody cares. No, why? Yeah, you know, have one, fun. One time I was total drunk. We saw with Max Deadlift, yeah, like 400 shit. kilo, and the referee said, Fuck, you smell cognac. That's <laughs> 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 <It's> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking hungover for like 400 kilograms. Yeah. I did two reps just for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is training weight? Yep. Six. Swip. 660. 660. <laughs> Translated to the frame. Good. Nice. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Tacky? Yeah. Because it's too cold. Oh, you, you need the tacky. You put this. Oh, yeah, dry, yeah, yeah. Eating the tacky and dry your hands. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, you on it? <laughs> yes, if, if nobody knows, yeah. it's minus four degrees today. <laughs> Yay. I'll, it's I'll 18 this. degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so there you go. Ah. Come on, there. Easy. Ah, smooth. Nice, buddy. Thank you. Nice, buddy. <laughs> Such precision. Yeah. It looks like you're going to run the wall. Yeah, you're very good at stop knowing exactly when to stop. Yeah. How much time you train your grip in the week? <sighs> right now? Only at the last set, when I do, I actually only do one set, but I do a hold at the end. Okay. And that's it. That's it. That's it. No, it's a If it's too much, I get uh, elbow pain. Ah. So I have to be careful. Sometimes I do hang. Like single arm hang. I like that too. Stretch your shoulders. Hit your hands. Come on, go! <laughs> Five. 
Ten. Fifteen. Let's go. Hold it. Come on. Twenty. Come on. Get ten more. Let's go. Let's go. Twenty-five. Come on. We got to win this. Thirty. Keep going. That's good. Save it for later. You're rolling seven seconds there. So 30 seconds hold. Alright, I split it. Okay, 39. That's good. Good job. Thank you. Next is it. What's next? Throwing. Throwing? We go one side. So what's the purpose of throwing again? So we're not for stones, we're not for stones, but uh, I think I want to constantly practice this a little because I have it in Brazil. Oh, uh, so it is? Are you in Brazil? It's a TV show. Oh, okay. It's uh, me, Kearney, Mateos, and Shibakov. What's this? It, 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 each year they have the show. It's oh. a it's a one hour live TV show. Oh, Three wow. events. Short pool, throwing stones. Wow. What's, is there like a prize money? Yeah, yes, of course. How much is the prize money? 5,000. Oh. <laughs> First. Yeah, it's small, but it's just a one hour show. It's Brazil, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brazil's nice. I'm gonna be doing some, uh, just some throwing to warm up for stones, practice some technique. JF is much better throwing, has much better throwing than I do. So hopefully I can pick up some tips, improve what I suck at. Stronger as possible. <laughs> the trick is be stronger. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ha! Nice. You see, Romak, I have a lot of equipment there. I, I have finger finger I put on top there. How do you get down? I have a forklift in my garage. Oh, wow. You have a forklift, dude? from any equipment. I have 400 pound sandbag if you want. Not today. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> the big rogue one, 407. Okay. We have the same thing. Yeah, it's fucking hard to this. Yeah. I will train with this, but the last month. Whatever. <laughs> Shit. Like a catapult. <laughs> like a catapult. The 60 is the second. It depends on It was not the good bag. The 60 was the second. Oh shit. Yes. <laughs> this one. Okay. How many reps you did last time? Three or four? I just did two. Uh, and yes, because it fell off the edge. And then I said, fuck it. I, it didn't matter if I won this event. I was behind in many points. Should go over, under like this. Okay. Yeah. So I just go really here. And then push. Yeah. Good there. Easy. Easy. Yeah. So you, you will need, like, what you could do here, and then really, oh, get extra speed. More explosion. Just, just at the end. Get high, yes, high in the chest. Let's ah. There you go, yes. Uh -huh. uh, last time I practiced with natural stone. Yeah. But my natural stone is different. Yeah. It's more square. Nice buddy, yes. Good. But you know what? I I watched the video of Mateus many times. Yeah. And I think this technique with the sandbag to throw it this this way is better. Oh yeah. You have a three meter long uh, uh, not here, I have it. Yeah. I wanna try. This is five? Five. But you know this, those three meters, yeah. it's like thinner than this. Yeah. I think those ones are more like. Oh, so these are better. Yeah. Okay. Come on.
Just did events with GF Corona, and now, well, hopefully, feel good for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm gonna do an insane leg day JF Corona style, which includes front squats, uh, back squats, then front squats, then deadlifts and leg press. <sighs> this guy's an animal. Feels great to be training with legendary JF Corona. Uh, people, you guys don't understand how incredible this guy is. He's he's been in the game so long as long as anybody and still going so strong still putting up just some of the most amazing numbers i have a lot to learn from him well if you guys uh like this little segment of a training continue on because there's more more things to learn